Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I have Courtney with me here today. And uh, because of popular demand, and also because Courtney is a huge Swifty and yes. is constantly making us add Taylor Swift songs to the playroom, uh, the showroom playlist, mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to record a video for you guys all about Taylor Swift's New York City kitchen and give you a couple of hints on what makes that kitchen so special and how you can recreate it. And if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Kasten with The Material Bar, your kitchen and bath showroom and cabinet specialist in Tacoma, Washington. And we have... Courtney. Hi guys. <laughs> Courtney is in our team and Courtney is responsible for all of our cool marketing images and just putting everything together, making sure our videos are going live and going on YouTube for you guys. And she handles a ton of that and uh, does a really amazing job. And uh, before we dive into Taylor's beautiful Manhattan kitchen and giving you all the insights on that. Just really quick a reminder that if you are working on planning or designing or remodeling your kitchen right now, we did create a free community and we have the link in our description below, which will give you access to our group. You can ask away questions, you can post pictures if you're running into any kind of issues, we can be there and just give you a little bit of input and guidance if you feel stuck or you don't know where to start or you can also get help from the whole community. It is 100% for free and on top of that, we actually pick a lucky winner once a month to jump on a Zoom and I'll just ask away questions and help them with their design and basically give you a free uh, kitchen design session with me. So if you need that, make sure to join our community and um, yeah, we'll get started right away now with yeah with Taylor Swift's Manhattan Kitchen. So before I start, I'm supposed to be telling you that Courtney right here actually went to the Eras tour from Taylor Swift. Yes. I'm not kidding when I say she's a huge Swifty. Okay. Yes, night two in Seattle. The one in Seattle? Yeah. Okay, nice. I'll post some pictures. Okay, okay, yeah. very cool. Okay, well let's take a look at a image. Here's an image of Taylor's Kitchen in Manhattan and we really like it because it feels very earthy it actually has a lot of vintage vibes which was very cool um, tall ceilings when you think about vintage kitchens like this you do see a lot more trim crown buildups and things like that i love the exposed ceiling with the wood beams but let's dive a little bit into the different materials that we pulled out here on how you could actually recreate this kitchen and number one what i would like to point out here on her kitchen is that she has inset cabinets mm -hmm. and that is a special form um, more of a vintage american way of building cabinetry and we do have a really good example right here and if you can see that so this mimics the let's say the door but it sits flush within the face frame and um, this is the look of inset cabinetry it's a very kind of vintage american look so very cool that she has that in her kitchen and don't we have a video on cabinet construction too that states the difference yeah totally and and we'll make sure that you guys have that link below it just gives you a really good kind of first look at the different styles of cabinets and which route you would want to go but for taylor's kitchen if you wanted to recreate this look this is an inset cabinet line and then we see a little bit of a shaker detail and we only see it in some of the doors so the drawer fronts are all slab which actually a lot of people think well if i do slab drawer fronts it, it flat some people call it flat it feels very modern mm -hmm. I actually think the opposite. When you're doing it correct with a lot of vintage settings, it can feel a little bit more retro and vintage. So she has slab drawer fronts, everything is flat, and the detail is only on the doors, okay? We have a couple of glass cabinets in here, which is a really nice feature, and a very large kind of oversized range and cooktop section. It is very oversized in this kitchen because this kitchen looks quite large. I mean, it's sitting like, a lot of people on this island um, it's quite the large kitchen so just keep that in mind but there is quite a bit of glass in here um, to keep the whole space open and i think the cabinet itself so here's a, a just a good image of like a shaker detail it's just a flat shaker detail there is no additional kind of bevels in that door 
and then it's a paint finish. And I actually would suggest, it's a little bit hard to tell on this image, mm -hmm. but I think because we're going kind of this vintage route that you shouldn't go with a straight white. I think you should go with like an off cream color, maybe something like an alabaster. And it's funny because it's really, really, a lot more people are requesting more of these mm -hmm. kind of creamier tones and not the stark white, you know? Um, so absolutely love that about the cabinetry. There's also some open areas, some built-in areas um, around the island. I'm pretty sure I see a leg on the back of the island, so I'm thinking that it kind of mirrors the one side of the island that we can see in this image. And then, um, what else did we pick out, Courtney? Um, well, her backsplash is kind of unique. Mm -hmm. So she has red and yellow, and I found um, Zagora from the Drosians, actually. Oh, that's really fun. And it comes in different um, colors. That's the red, and this is the yellow. Those which are really cool vintage colors. Um, looks like hers. Mm -hmm. But then you can get it in different sizes. So it comes in, this is the two by... That's a two by two. Two by two, mm -hmm. and then a four by four. Mm -hmm. And then it also comes in a two by six. Interesting. Yeah. So all different colors, and then um, each one of them comes in all the different colors too, which okay. is pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. I think um, for her design, you know, she's looking more like she has a four by four design mm -hmm. here. So maybe go with the four by four design. But you know what? Make it your own, right? Take her kitchen as an inspiration. Make it your own. I think a combination between the mm -hmm. two and even the two sizes could be really fun in this kitchen. Yeah, they also have a triangle. Those are cute. Those are pretty cute. Yeah, yeah, those are really fun. Very fun colors. I like those. And then also her knobs are very much polished. Um, it's the top knobs, Marion knob and polished chrome. So this one's the one that I think looks the most like her knobs. Very cool. Really nice. And then what do we have? A combination between knobs and pulls? I only see knobs in I her kitchen. I think it's only knobs. Yep. Okay. Another fun fact really quick before we forget. Um, she does have exposed hinges on her inside cabinetry and that is a really fun feature that you can only get in um, inset cabinet lines. You see how those hinges here are exposed? Oh, yeah. That's another very vintage kind of look and feature for um, inset cabinetry. I love that. Very cool. So then let's also talk about the countertop. So this kitchen, even if you think about the walls being painted, the ceiling being wood, the floor being that looks like real hardwoods um the kitchen being off white it very much looks like a cream color it feels very bright still in this kitchen and a big factor in that is the countertop it is a horizontal surface so just a as a quick side note even if you're going with a wood toned cabinet or any kind of color on your cabinetry really a big factor to how bright or dark your kitchen is going to be is from the countertops because it is a horizontal surface and it just it, it it's just sitting in your eye a little bit different than the cabinetry okay so in her kitchen we cannot 100 percent make out if this is a quartz side or a quartz I don't think that it is a natural product, a quartzite, because of the veining, but I could be wrong. So, hey, if you who designed uh, <laughs> Taylor's Kitchen, Taylor's Kitchen, and you have a different suggestion here, please let us know. But I, um, I think you could use a quartz to replicate this look, and we picked out some quartzes here, which is a man-made product, and we have one from MSI. A white undertone and the countertop actually is a little bit wider than the cabinetry and then we have very kind of light colored veining and if you go with any kind of Calcutta look is where you get that thicker chunkier veining pattern but it is not crazy if you look at that image so this color is actually called new Calcutta Laza from MSI this would be a great option if you're trying to recreate Taylor's kitchen and then there's a new color from Pentel Quartz, which I personally really love. I love that it has more earthy colors to it. And it is called Terra Soul. And it is right here. Also a very, very uh, cool color. 
and it comes at a great price point. I was gonna say, don't we have um, a good price point system for like those certain cabinets? Or those yeah, Terra Sol is on our square foot program and I just installed it in my current property that I live in and I actually really like it. It performs well and it looks great. Yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, a fun fact about Taylor's kitchen is she actually caught it on fire recently. She was cooking something and caught fire in her, in her kitchen with Gracie Abrams. They were filming, um, well, they were producing and writing a song. And you can see her trying to put it out with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I can uh, post a link to it down below. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so I think we've addressed most of the items that really characterize Taylor's Kitchen in Manhattan. Um, her island, I think, is anywhere from, I would say eight to 10 feet, but it, it, it looks a lot more like a 10 foot island. This is a pretty big space. And uh, depending on the seats here, you usually give uh, each seating area about two feet, and then you have these return buildups on the island. So I do believe that we're nine feet, 10 feet, maybe even more um, on this island. Now, how big can your island go? It all depends on the space that you're working with. And um, we will link another video below. We did a really great video that talks all about island dimensions, mm -hmm. island planning, guide, examples, inspiration. I think we have a couple of videos on yep. islands. So um, if you do have questions on islands, make sure to check out those videos. But yeah, those are the highlights. And um, also, a little fun fact, when you, you really want to talk all the details about your cabinetry with your cabinet designer, for example, I'm looking at these um, glass door cabinets, these wall cabinets, and there's a couple of different ways to finish those. These all look like they had the matching finished interior of the box. So that is something you need to specify. If you do not talk about that with your cabinet designer, they might not be doing that. And depending on the box that you're using, let's say you're using a plywood box, these cabinets would most likely have a wood finish on the inside. So those are little nuances and details. You really want to make sure that you discuss them with your cabinet designer. I but would have never paid attention to that. That's a really good tip. Yeah, yeah. And on certain looks, I actually really like that wood look. It mm -hmm. looks really warm. But this look, it, it, there would be a lot of wood in here because she has a lot of open mm -hmm. sections, right? So it looks a lot better to have that finished interior. But make sure you discuss that because you don't want to assume anything. When it comes to cabinets, you don't assume anything, okay? You ask a million questions. And uh, yeah, I think those are some really yeah. good tips and pointers on how you can recreate Taylor Swift's kitchen yeah. in Manhattan. Are you happy yeah, we talked Taylor finally. Swift? <laughs> <laughs> we need to do every video on Taylor Swift. I know, I know, okay, yeah, no. Okay, all right, well I love me some Taylor too. Yeah. And um, if you have any other questions, if you're planning, designing, remodeling your kitchen, you have any other questions, make sure to join our free community. You can ask away, we're there, we're talking, our designers are in there, I'm in mm -hmm. there, Courtney's in there, we're all having a good time in there. 100% for free, come join us. And other than that, we will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you, bye. Hello, testing. Okay. You got one on? I do. Just be careful with your hair. I do. I wear my favorite blue crew neck. Oh, you even wore your Taylor Swift. Yeah. Okay. You got that? Die hard fan over here. Die hard fan. Okay. Okay. Are we already like yeah, filming? Yeah, ready. Yeah. Do you want me to see if you're in a good? Yeah, you want to? Mm -hmm. I'll check. I know you're in good. I'm not going to move my chair. I think we're good. You're just adorable. You're just, <laughs> you're sitting over here just, just ready. So excited. Okay, let's uh, wait for a second. And until the gvarch, we should probably start with the, the gvarch is done in the showroom. That means loud noise. It's Bavarian for loud noise. Oh, what are this? Mm -hmm. Look at this. What is that? I don't know, but that's pretty dark. Hers that's is nice. more of a light. Creamy. I'm gonna go grab which one you think. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. Here you go. This one was MSI. Okay.
picked that for inset, right? Mm -hmm. Um, that's probably more of a, a cream color. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> That's what Jeffrey Star does. Courtney, that's not how we start. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>